So today I'm going to show you a demo on how to extend Copilot for Microsoft 365 by adding communication channels to it, such as SMS, WhatsApp, or email using Azure communication services. So this means that you'll be able to add more communication channels or more way to communicate with the external world from the Copilot interface that's available in Microsoft Teams. So there will be three things that I will be using for this demo. One is Teams message extensions. So we will be building a plugin for Copilot, and this plugin will be built using Teams message extensions. Now, Teams message extensions, to recap, has been there for a while, and it's used to build apps that can be used within Microsoft Teams. But now you can also convert it into a plugin for Copilot. The second thing that I'm using would be Azure Communication Services, of course, for the communication channels such as SMS and WhatsApp. And I will be referring to communication services as ACS uh, for brevity, but keep in mind this is not the official acronym, but just for this call, I'll refer to it as ACS. And then the Northwind Inventory Database. So this sounds familiar because this is a you know, publicly available database which has fictitious data fictitious inventory data that we will be using for our app as well. All right, so what is the scenario? Imagine that I work in Northwind Traders, which is a beverage uh, trading company. So we have a lot of beverages like chai, uh, soda, protein shake in the inventory. And I, as an employee, uh, I love using Microsoft Teams. So I was wondering what if I could do my day-to-day -day tasks as the inventory manager for Northwind Traders from within Microsoft Teams. And I could leverage Copilot to do my tasks such as you know, updating the stock or maybe contacting the suppliers for placing new orders. So these are some of the things that I will show you um, in my demo. So first I will show you how to use a Teams message extension in the standard way that we were using it earlier, meaning as an app. And second, we'll see how to use it in the Copilot interface that's available in Microsoft Teams. So let's dive into the demo. Here, um, I have the window opened with Bob German. He is my colleague and I want to talk to him on Teams. So I will then uh, open the chat and open the chat with him on Teams and click on product inventory message extension. And I will ask him to look for chat. In the debugger, you can see that my app is running a query on the inventory and is trying to find this product. So let's click on this product. And now um, that adaptive card is available. So you could do certain actions on it, which is maybe contacting the supplier through email and click on place in order. Now let's see, um, okay, in the debugger, you can see that email polling is in progress and email has been sent. Oh, I will also open the Outlook where you can see the new email from Contoso Beverage Company. Oh, it's not when, so make <laughs> need to make that correction, but hey, the email is email is here. Um, next we want to see the copilot interface. So if opens the copilot chat. Um, so this Copilot chat is available on the left side, on the top of all the chats in Microsoft Teams. Since I'm using my MSFT account, I have popped out that chat and I'm just showing you just the you know, standalone Copilot chat. So uh, let's imagine that I have to uh, host a party for the M365 community. My company has got the contract to provide the beverages. So I need to make sure that everything is in stock. So I will come to Copilot and I will um, 
ask Copilot about the current inventory and make sure you know we have enough of everything. So let's make sure my Northwind inventory plugin is turned on. And now I will take a prompt, which I have pre-written. So let me copy that and paste it here and send that to Copilot. So I'm asking Copilot to find me the beverages that are low in stock in the Northwind inventory. And I'm asking it to show it in the form of a table. Now keep in mind that I never mentioned the columns of the table, but Copilot was smart enough to figure out what columns would be interesting to me because I asked about the inventory. So setting this a bit. So yeah, you can see this product name, supplier name, units in stock, and so on. And there are also adaptive cards for each of these products, which will let me take action if I need to. So let's say um, I want to order more protein shake, but I also want to make sure that I can show you my phone screen because the SMS and WhatsApp experience happens on the phone. So I have that projected on the right. I have my WhatsApp message with Northwind traders opened up. So now let's do it again. So open the protein shake adaptive card. Let's try to contact the supplier on SMS and WhatsApp. Oh, okay, my mirroring disconnected. Let me retry. All right, we're back up. So going back to protein shake. Now we will contact the supplier. Let's order maybe thousand quantity and send an SMS and WhatsApp and click on place an order. Now let's see what's happening in the debugger as well. Okay, in the logs you can see that the SMS was sent and the WhatsApp message was sent and it's here on my phone screen as well. And here is the SMS message. Now let's see what else we can ask the copilot. Okay, so I want to check if there were any delivery delays by the supplier. Oh, that moved away. I want I was highlighting Contoso Beverage Company to show you that I didn't mention the name of the supplier, but because Copilot has context of the already existing chat it could use that name. So um, as you can see, it found out that there was a delay of five days and it also is showing me the Excel that it is using to get that information, which is supply delivery performance. So I showed you this prompt to uh, emphasize that a copilot can use, can do a lot of actions based on what you've coded in the copilot plugin but the core of Copilot also exists, right? Which is being able to access the M365 tenant data for your company, and then using that data to answer your questions. In this case, it took the context of the already ongoing chat, where it recognized that I'm asking about the Contoso Beverage Company supplier, and then it looked up a supply delivery performance Excel, which was available in the M365 tenant, and gave me the relevant information from that Excel uh, about the delivery um, delivery of delivery performance of this uh, supplier. So uh, that's the beauty of using plugins in Copilot because it could mix both things for you and help you, you know, do your tasks more efficiently. So yeah, this was the demo. I wanted to show you two aspects of it. And the code that I used for this plugin is available on aka.ms build 24 hyphen ACS demo. I also want to show you the repo. It's, it looks like this. And um, to some of you, this might seem familiar, the Northwind inventory uh, code sample because our friends Rabia William and Bob German and Gary Tinder were the ones who started the sample and it, it's very popular. Um, so I took that sample and I built on top of it. So I've added communication channels to the Northwood inventory plugin using ACS. So if you open the link that I shared, you would see that I've added a new exercise, exercise 1.1, which will help you figure out how to set up the communication channels uh, to use in your plugin. 
Other than that, this repo also has detailed exercise for every other step, starting for, from you know, building the message extension and uh, writing adaptive cards, handler and building the adaptive cards, everything is in there. So basically it has you know, uh, steps for you to download this repo and actually uh, follow along and run this and test it out. So um, yeah, go, go play with it and uh, try to see what other scenarios you can light up. Because I feel uh, it's very powerful to be able to bring in additional channels to Copilot. So some of the other scenarios that I was thinking is that imagine that you are um, you are the support agent and you're looking at a customer case and you're asking Copilot about the latest email that they sent. And based on that, you can actually use Copilot to write the reply and then from within Copilot, you know, reply back to that customer. That's one scenario. Other scenario could be that if if you are, you know, maybe the support team, the backend support team, for the field team, the field team is out there visiting customers, fixing their, um, fixing their devices, and, and as the backend engineer, you could be on Teams using Copilot and connecting with your field engineer over SMS or WhatsApp. So yeah, that's that's all from me. Um, have fun with this code sample and reach out to me on LinkedIn if you you know have more thoughts, ideas, uh, or feedback. Thank you.